today I'm going to give you a tour of an ADU under construction. I'm going to spill the beans because I'm going to give you a bunch of pro tips that you can use if you're thinking about building an ADU or currently building an ADU. If you follow all the pro tips, it's going to be easier for you to pass all your city inspections. Let's go. For this contractor, he followed my steps in regards to what to do with the, uh, for the footings and they open up the, the concrete. After that, they call, the they call the city inspector. The city inspector looked at this, they measured the footings and everything was okay. So if you wanna build an AUD ADU, just remember, step number one, if you wanna save money, find out if you have footings or not. You'll, you'll save a lot of money by just doing a little bit of work. If you don't have the tools to do something like this, talk to a contractor, your handyman, he can kind of open it up. If they charge you $300 or whatever it may be, and you happen to find out that you do have footings, those 300 bucks are gonna be a, a penny on the bucket compared to what you can save. So this is another ADU. When I came over, they just finished up the demo. Uh, all the trash was gone. Uh, they converted this illegally into a one bedroom house. So they had to turn everything down, down to the bare studs so the inspector can see. And now when I came back, all the framing is done. Before I move on with the video, you probably know somebody who wants to sell a house. If you've seen any of my videos, I'm all about saving money. So pass on my number, let them know if they sell that house with me, I can save them money. It passed the framing inspection. So the framing inspection has already passed. The installation inspection has already been passed. They installed some of the shear wall, the electrical inspection, the plumbing inspection has already been passed. All those steps have already been would have been um, approved by the by the city guy. New sub panel. Is that a? That's a. They went with a 125, which is even better. So for this particular property, there was a lot of wood that was in bad shape, so they had to tear it down. For the most part, they they had to tear down a lot of wood. As you can see, all this all this stuff is new. All the framing is brand new. This is the room. Once again, they already passed all the inspections. All the framing is new. For your ADU, you gotta have new construction windows. So those are the windows, brand new windows. Every single time they finish something, they call the inspector to make sure that the work is done properly. And they don't continue until it's been approved by the city. So for this ADU, you have a massive closet. This is a closet from one wall to the other. This is probably a 11 foot, 12 foot closet. This is big. All the wiring has already been done. So if you're building an ADU, just kind of take a look at this one. You gotta have all these things, all the metal, all the striker plates on the top. And just like with my project, from the work on my, on my property, if you saw the video about the electrical, we have, we have the Cat5. So this is the Cat5, it's already wired. I'm sorry, this is the this is the coax. This is the coax. And then this is your your cat five. So they did the same layout as my property. And they pre-wired the house with cat five and coax. That way you don't have to run or the cable guy doesn't have to make any holes in the house in order to run the cables. They're already pre-wired inside the walls. And you also have a power outlet so you can mount your TV on top. Uh, so that's a cool little feature that you can do on your ADU. Just have the house pre-wired with all the entertainment cables you're gonna need. That way you don't have a bunch of wires uh, in your property. This is the electrical. We have all the wires coming in and they're all stapled. They all look nice. They install the foam so they don't shake around. And you have your striker plate. That's uh, for when the drywall guys come in with their guns and they happen to hit this section to install a nail for the drywall, you're not gonna hit any wires. It'll hit the striker plate and you're gonna be okay. Another ADU, you're getting an insider view of what uh, the rough construction looks like of an ADU. And once again, same layout as my property. You have your power outlet, you have your entertainment cables, your Cat5, your coax cable for your um, um, Comcast or AT&T uh, cable provider and once again they mounted it on top so in case you want to go if you want to install your TV on the top 
it's already pre-wired with all the cables and most likely this is going to be the living room so the entertainment section is already done your entrance a little bit of a hallway and this is the bathroom they're going to go with a tub it's already there and right on the other side is the the laundry room which we're going to go in in, in a few minutes you have your PEX line for your water. This is where the sink is gonna go. The tub is already here. Your spout, your shower head. And then this is where the toilet is gonna be. More water lines. That's your, that's your fan. It's a pretty cool looking fan. Oh, you need, for your ADU, you need a fan. It's not, a, it's not a luxury thing. You're not gonna pass inspections unless you have a fan installed. If you decide to add a laundry area to your ADU, just be ready to pony up a little bit more money because it just takes more work. So this is the laundry room for this, for this ADU. It's a small room, maybe five by, five by eight. But you have your water lines, your insulation is already done, your recess lights are already in. For this particular project, I believe in about in about a week, the drywall guys are gonna come in and start putting up the drywall in this section and inside of the house as well. So this is your small laundry room. All the windows are installed. Once again, the lath is already installed. You have the silicone and all the staples. If you have a garage door, this would be in a small scale. But since they're doing stucco to all the house, it's in a larger scale. You're gonna call your inspector to take a look at the lath before they install the scratch. This is exactly how it was done in my property. And we passed inspection the very first time. We didn't have any corrections. The contractor that helped me out did the exact same process on my ADU and we passed the inspection within 10 seconds of the inspector being there. It was very fast. Here we have your water heater. They're gonna go with a tankless water heater. I believe they're gonna use the same water heater that they use on my property. It's a Noritz. Have your electrical for your water heater. And you have your gas, your gas valve. The inspector is gonna look at all this stuff. They wanna make sure that you have all this ready. So when they install the stucco, all this is already exposed and all this is already installed. And this is for the for the water line. So they use PEX on the other side. And then right on this side, you have the copper because it's, it's exposed to the elements. Your clean out for the plumbing. So this is the section that they have to finish up with the lath. And after they finish this section, they'll have the okay to start installing the first section of stucco. So this is all new. Um, I think they're gonna bring this down install some sheer walls and then bring it all together so it could be so everything could be new from from point a to point b see here they're getting ready for the drywall this is the paste you use for the drywall i don't know how to use it i just know it's for drywall because i bought the same thing from my property and we're on the other side of the the water heater you have your electrical and you have your gas and probably it's gonna be water here somewhere. There we go. So that's the line for the water. As I was mentioning on the video, you have your pecs coming in and then you have your, your copper going out to the outside. This is the attic for the ADU. All brand new. I believe these are called rafters. I'm not a contractor, there's probably a, a better name for these things but I think they're called rafters all the rafters are new all the metal plates are installed if you've seen my my video about uh, electrical the inspectors look that all the wires are stapled that way they they stay in place so this past inspection as well staple here staple there there's probably more staples going along so that's the way you're gonna pass all your inspections to make sure that everything is done properly and I don't know if you can see it, but you're gonna have right over there is the water line, the water line for the ADU. And they also went with PEX. Uh, I believe PEX is, is a good material and also it's very cost effective. 
if you get a contractor to do your ADU with, with copper, it's gonna be expensive. It's gonna be really expensive because it takes a lot of time to solder and cut all those pieces. But if you go with PEX, they can come in and finish it in maybe two days. And you're gonna save a lot on materials. You're gonna save a lot on labor. So if you're trying to do this on a budget, consider PEX. Thank you.